I have some things on my mind today that are very special and very close and important to me. So today we're going to talk about money advice that I would give to any young man just getting started. So if that's you, I'm talking to you in this video. And me, I'm a young man myself. I'm 27 going on 28 next month. But if you consider the average person watching this video is 18 or up, what I have to say is going to be very valuable to anyone watching this video that is seeking this knowledge and this wisdom that I've gained over the years. And I don't know everything, but I know enough to help you out financially. So we're going to jump straight into this video right now. If you don't know who I am, hey, what's up? I'm Reggie Bryant aka big bro and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth i'm going to help you out so today this is what i want to talk to you about and it's this concept that i've thought of for a long time but i really haven't put it into the words that i want to put it into but that's what this video is for i want y'all to always have a plan with your money that means you're spending money on purpose with a purpose and i know some people probably watching this video right now like well i always spend my money on purpose yeah but you treat it like it's an accident though how many times have you looked at your bank account and you were like two dollars or you know your equivalent to two dollars maybe it's twenty dollars maybe it's a hundred dollars whatever it is whatever that number is it doesn't feel like enough and it feels like you should have more in your bank account that's a direct result of not spending your money the way you should and not really tracking what you're spending your money on because right now what you got is a bunch of bills on automate which you should you should have your rent automatically coming out every single month your utilities automatically coming out your car note whatever the case is those basic things that you're going to pay for anyway they should automatically be coming out of your account right so that's on purpose with the purpose right but when you go to the mall on the weekends when you go out to the club on the weekends and you get some drinks when you go out to eat too much when you go to concerts and shows and things like that when you take that one girl out that you're trying to impress, you don't really think about that amount of money you're spending at that time because you just swipe, swipe, swipe. You don't see, you don't physically see the numbers going down every single time you swipe that card until you look at your bank account. See, the thing about young men, especially nowadays, and I for sure would know, I grew up with most of them, right? Is that they prioritize fun and leisure over purpose and building wealth. And for some, that's okay. But for those of my guys out there who really wanna grow themselves, improve themselves, and make more money and build more wealth so that they can have security for their families and their friends and those who they love and care about, keep on watching because I'm gonna share something very important with you. That culture, that way of thinking is not good. Especially if you have goals and aspirations in life to really be something to really be above average, to make above average money, to have an above average lifestyle, to have above average opportunities. I'm talking about unlimited opportunities to do whatever the heck you want, whenever you want, and to never feel like you're at the mercy of any one particular person in this world because no matter what, you're set because your bank account is looking good. No matter what happens, nobody can take your skill set and your knowledge and your purpose away from you. Instead, we want to focus on buying things that we really don't need, and there's a time and place for that. But you can't even identify half the time what that time and place is, what that looks like, what your money should look like before it's that time and place to go out and buy the iced out chain or to buy that watch or to buy those Jordans or to buy anything that you can possibly think of that's 500 plus dollars or 200 plus dollars, whatever the case is, your money is your money. So whatever the equivalent is for you to be expensive, that's what we need to start thinking about. But half the time we don't really think twice before we buy things and half the time when we do buy things is to impress other people and i think that's complete bs what other people should not matter like their opinions specifically should not matter to you you're basically saying you know what i'm going to go in debt i'm going to let my bank account go down so low that i feel uncomfortable just to impress other people because the thing that I talk about a lot on this channel is wealth is what you don't see. So all the things that I do see on you is liabilities. And there's nothing wrong with it because, you know, you can have your time and place to buy your nice shirt, your nice jewelry. If you're into jewelry, I'm personally not. But if you're into that thing, cool. Your nice shoes, your nice suit, whatever the case is, whatever your idea of splurging is, whatever your idea of leisurely spending is, that's what I'm talking about. But all that stuff 
is purposeless and half the time it's done on complete accident because you don't realize the impact because if you really did know the impact that it was going to cause on your bank account i don't think you would have made that purchase that has you over there wondering about what you're going to eat or how you're going to pay for rent next month because some people really do put themselves in that situation then they have to reach out to family for help and all that stuff and you don't want to be that guy i'm telling you you don't you want to be the guy that people can come to when they need money. And if you see fit and if you see that you're able to do it, then you can go ahead and do it. If there's somebody that you truly love and care about and trust. But I don't know. That's just always been my standard. My standard has always been I'm not going to be the one that goes to anyone for help. That's just me. As a man, that's just my vision of myself. That's how I see where I'm going to be. That's how I've always seen it. And that's how it's always been. And when you hold yourself to that standard, I just think you move a little bit different. I just think it would be embarrassing to tell your kids one day, sorry, we could have been here, but instead we're here and we're struggling and we can't do what we want to do. I could have done this, but I prioritize clubbing and sleeping with random women that I don't know and having fun and drinking. Like I just, that stuff is purposeless. I, I really don't think that in life we should do things that are without purpose. That's just my opinion. You can call it lame, you can call it being a square or whatever, but you got to look at your results before you come to me with that BS. I'm just saying like when somebody has results, it's easier to then go out and do those things and have that fun and whatever than not having results and then going out and just having fun and then saying life is short, have fun. It's like, yeah, life is short, but if life is short as you say it is, wouldn't you rather spend it doing something purposeful and having a purpose behind everything you do? And when you have purpose behind everything you do, you understand how money works and you understand that it's a resource and you understand that it should not be wasted. And you should understand how to get more. You should understand how to grow it. But instead, it's easy to just swipe, 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 swipe. And, and now you're over there looking sad because you don't got no money left, feeling about useless. That's just how it feels sometimes. And we've all been there at some point, some version of that, we've all been there. But I'm here to tell you right now, it doesn't have to be that way. So really look at your money as it is, understand what you can afford and what you can't afford. Understand that the amount of money you make per year on paper is actually not the amount of money per year that you make. You have to look at what you make after taxes. And then if you wanna be real with yourself now, put against all the things that you spent money on that year compared to what you actually made. And you know, sometimes people actually outspend what they made in one year. And then they feel like they're going backwards. And then you add inflation onto that. And then you add on the fact that your job probably isn't giving you a raise that even equates to inflation. And now you really are moving backwards because guess what is still moving up? Your rent, groceries, gas. It's the death by a thousand cuts type of thing. So that's what you wanna avoid. And then by the time you see my channel and you reach out to me and see that I have services or I have a course coming out or a book like I made last year, I had a book last year that came out in August. Or even if I just have my one-on-one -on -one consultations, you wanna talk about it's too expensive. It's like, well, hold on, if your priorities were straight and you truly wanted to grow in a particular area, it doesn't even have to just be like my products or services. It could literally be any financial book. It could be any financial consultation. It could be any online course. You would say it's too expensive. But you don't have that same mindset when you're going out splurging on things that look cool. That, to me, is not spending money with a purpose. When you look at someone like me and my services, which by the way, are not that expensive, you can check them out in the link below in the link up here if you want to. But you know already immediately by seeing the price tag attached to what I have to offer, which could change your life, by the way, you automatically know the impact to your bank account. So I just need you to start thinking about it the same way in you know every other aspect of life anyway i need to move on to the next topic y'all getting me started today this actually kind of ties in with my first point but it really expands on it and it really makes what i'm talking about more understandable learn how to invest and do so consistently whenever you first start your job you have an option to do a 401k but you're going to have to set it up yourself and pick the amount of money that you want to contribute and usually most of us have already done that but if you haven't done it and you are a young man or an older man, it really doesn't matter. You need to set it up like yesterday. You need to set it up immediately because you are missing out on some money big time. 
especially if your company has a match program where let's say you put in 4% and they match you every every for every dollar you put in they give you an extra 50 cents that means for every ten thousand dollars they throw in another five thousand for free just for you working there and putting money into your 401k you better take advantage of that that's your retirement right there but beyond that that's one form of investing and that's you know and, and you know i don't want to get too into like the technicalities of it because this is a general advice video that i just want you to look into these things for but outside of your 401k look into investing look into the stock market look into the different funds that you can invest in outside of your 401k look into what a roth ira is i hadn't even heard of a roth ira until i was like what 23 24 so if i would have known about it at 21 22 i could have had the 401k and the roth ira both accumulating interest both growing and then outside of that you can have your own type of investing so once you learn which by the way check this out i have a course for investing i haven't launched it officially on my page but check this out if you are interested in the course what i want you to do is hit the link in the description to my instagram account and dm me on instagram just let me know that you're interested in the investment course right now what i'm doing is exclusive zoom calls with people who are interested in the course i have not put it live on my website yet but that day is coming first of all i just want to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with people having the zoom calls and then playing the course through there and then recording it and sending it to you so that you have it forever so if you're interested let me know i'm gonna let y'all know right now early birds can get it for 97 dollars but don't mess around and talk about something that's too expensive because if the course is too expensive then maybe you shouldn't be investing yet maybe you should get financially stable first and follow the first step that i gave you and then come back once you get to a point where you actually have a good savings account you have a decent emergency fund and your expenses are in order and your spending is in order and you know exactly what you're doing with your money and you have that self-control and then come back to investing this isn't something that you should rush investing does have a good amount of risk attached to it but once you learn how to do it correctly the risk goes way way down which once you take my course or even just watch my investing videos on youtube you will understand a lot better but that's a game changer don't sleep on this invest as early as possible and just make sure you don't let your emotions get the best of you following these random yahoos online talking about some investing game stop and then lose all your money don't do it and here's the main thing I want to attach to this. You cannot follow steps one or two without following step three. And that's prioritize your career and build discipline. That's one thing as men that we have to do. First of all, we already know it's not easy being a man. It's very hard to be a man. You're held to a very high expectation. People do not typically go easy on you. Life does not typically go easy on you. The worst things can happen at the most inopportunistic time possible. And still you have to be strong. Still you have to perform. Still you have to be there and be the best that you can be in that moment. Even if your heart is ripped to shreds. Even if you're feeling emotional. Even if you're going through something. Even if somebody died. So when I say prioritize your career, I mean prioritize being good at it. I'm not saying you got to spend every second, minute, and hour of your day in your career and being immersed and spending every day at work. I've done that and it is not worth it in my humble opinion. I got a lot of experience from it, but I'm just saying you don't need to take every single day of the week, 12 hours a day to learn your career and learn the business side of your career. You just don't. But when I say prioritize your career, I mean prioritize being good at it, prioritize understanding what it takes to grow in your career, understand what it takes to interview properly for your career, have the discipline to remain stoic. Don't let anyone knock you off your center. Like they see that they can annoy you. So they're going to keep pressing you and then you explode at work. And now all of a sudden you got paperwork on you because you weren't acting right. Discipline goes a long way. Discipline is showing up to work early and leaving late. Discipline is doing things that you don't want to do at work, but you know is important for the business. And you need to prioritize these things based off of what your plan is for yourself in the future. So if you see yourself getting promoted, it kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense to befriend people that work next to you because if you get promoted, it's very likely that you'll be their boss. And now you have what could be conflicts of interest on your hands. People don't think about that till it's time to do what needs to be done and get down to business. And what I'm saying is you need to have the discipline to stay out of trouble inside of work 
and outside of work. If you get arrested outside of work, it's not going to be too good for you at work. If you act a fool at work, it definitely ain't going to be too good for you at work. And I will always say this. This is what I'm going to say before I close this video out. I will never understand why this seems to be one of those generations that will put you down for bettering yourself, for being disciplined, for prioritizing stuff like your career. That's what you're supposed to do because what you're doing is you're securing a life for your current family or your future family, depending on if you have kids or not, or a wife or not, or a girlfriend or whatever the case is. Like we really get put down for doing stuff like studying and getting good habits like reading. Check out my book, by the way, shameless plug, listening to podcasts, prioritizing studying and careers over like going out and clubbing and stuff. People really be out here celebrating failure every weekend, trying to make it seem like you're lame for doing what you're supposed to do as a man and make your money and improving your career and better yourself every single day and get smarter and get results and be called lame over here by some nobody for no good reason. And they're the ones celebrating failure, not you. I just don't get it. I don't understand it. I told you I wasn't going to get started tonight, but I'm getting started. Anyway, that's what I recommend. Build discipline. Get up early. Go to the gym. Get up early. Go for a run. Go for a mile run, a two mile run, a three mile run, whatever it is that you want to do. Invest that time and effort into the betterment of yourself. Because at the end of the day, once you have the results, ain't nobody going to call you lame. When you walk out with those muscles, you have that good endurance. You have a good head on your shoulders. You're smart. You're doing well in your career. You're making a lot of money. Outside of your career, you have a business on the side and you got investments on the side and they're just growing and growing and growing and you're investing consistently. And as you make more money, you're investing more and you're saving more. And your bank account is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so is your emergency fund and so is your investment account. And so is your business and so is your career. Oh. Everybody's going to admire you then. So trust the process. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, make yourself better every single day. And the biggest part of this is be disciplined. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. That is a video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryans, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. So you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.